Hi everybody, Cynthia here. Um, I hope you're having a really great Tuesday so far. Um, I didn't get a chance to do the Macchiato um, Monday video yesterday. Um, but I was talking to my hubby and my schedule's going to kind of change for the summer. So he's like, well, why don't you just do one whenever, whatever day you want? And then he's like, I could do one with you Friday and we could call it French Vanilla Friday. And he was coming up with all these silly names for, for different days if we do it. So, <laughs> And I said, oh, from somebody who said, you know, I was pulling your or twisting your arm to do the video, you sound kind of excited about doing it. So... I just want to let you guys know I may not be able to do it on Mondays, Macchiato Mondays, you know, especially in the summer, every Monday, but I might be able to get, you know, one of them in one of the days of the week. So I finally finished that family album that I showed you the cover. <laughs> it only took me, what, two months? Um, but here it is. I want to show you. It says family treasure life's memories and then I have a wooden key on here that um, Misha gave me in Iraq from scraps and things one and then I added like a double layer butterfly did that here as well and then bling prima flowers and then I added like different types of things for flower centers and I have another butterfly here I did that texture um, you know, I used that homemade texture paste that I made, and I did it up here, that honeycomb shape, I did it up here, and then just colored it up on there, and added a button for like the, um, you know, to make it look like it's the opening. And this is a chipboard cover, and then the back is chipboard as well, but the insides are those envelopes that came from the um you know the corrugated cards we use from Michaels I never use the envelopes and I thought you know what I want to start using those up so I I made the pages you know out of the envelopes so then I added some of this black sheer ribbon and I melted it for the binding and then I added a cork charm that I made and it has a little bird down here I can't do this one-handed, sorry guys. <laughs> um, I hung a little bird down here. You guys can see that. And then I added one of these metal pieces and then I put a piece of material in there and a black bead to hang from there. I had it twisted the wrong way. So that's the cover. And then this is the inside. I had made that pocket at a burlap I showed you guys a while ago. Put two stick pins here, Prima Flower, and a vintage looking button. And I did gesso throughout, you know, the whole thing. And then it holds this postcard um, mat for photos. And then this I made one of those little paper bag, um, out of one of the little paper bags from Michaels. Celebrate it, this size. Um, I saw Lydia making the little, from my trouble dog dare you, making the little paper bag cards. And then I saw um, Jamie from Scrapping Stampers do it. And I thought, oh, it would be kind of cute to put just like a little uh, like card bag thing in, in the envelope. So it's just holding with this clip. And then there's this metal charm and a piece of fiber. It says celebrate and then life. And then you open it up looks like that there's a little pocket and I tucked in like a bingo tag and then this says each day make each day your masterpiece and I tried to add like um, inspirational sentiments throughout and then inside here it's decorated and then I have another little photo mat in here as well so instead of making like a paper bag card, I just made a little paper bag booklet out of it. And then this page I kind of left plain, just added this really cute zipper flower that Lori Gooch made me here on YouTube. Thank you, Lori. And um, added some tulle behind it and then some gesso because I love the film strip on here, um, our photo, yeah, film strip. And then I just put dream. 
and then inside this envelope is a pocket for another photo mat. And all the paper I used came from the um, the heirloom stock from DCWB. And the next page says love. And then let me get a tag out here. You know, you could tuck a photo in behind that, so it's a nice area for a photo. And then down here I did some of that Tim Holtz um, washi tape. I used this really thin one to make a border. And then this page I did a Michael's chipboard piece and gessoed it. And then I have some more of that washi tape. And then I have the sentiment suite with the little bird. And then I put a piece of um, crocheted lace and the measuring tape from the paper I cut out. And then I have tucked in a tag here. And then there's a nice area for a photo, which will go behind, you know, this piece there. And then there's another pullout. I love this paper. I'm going to be so bummed when I actually run out of it. <laughs> Although maybe I could just pick up another paper pad and I won't, right? Okay, the next page says Inspire. I love this paper, so I just, you know, put a flower, one of my handmade flowers up here and um, have some burlap on the top and then a little bit behind it showing out. I don't know if you guys can see that. So it's a really, really nice area for a photo that I'll tuck up underneath. And then I did this. I gessoed the whole thing and then I sanded it to give it like a, an aged look. And that came from one of these um, chipboard pieces that I got from Michaels. So that's the look I got from that. And then I put um, some black uh, bling all the way around the frame. And then I just made this belly band here out of ribbon and tucked in this photo mat here. And then there's another pull out. So I was really, really happy I finally got it done, guys. <laughs> and let's see, this side says memories and I have some eyelet trim and then some black trim over that. And then I have uh, one of the clock charms that I made from a bottle cap, clock charm. And then I have a Tim Holtz clip holding it. And then this is one of the postcard tags that I made. Either for journal, you know, journal on this side, put a photo on that side, whatever the person wants. And the back of the bottle cap is just plain. I just, I like it just, you know, I didn't want to do both sides. And then here, I created a pocket out of one of the little Michaels bags again. Those little sack, um, you know, these little guys, the paper sacks. And I ran it through my cuddle bug and embossed it, and then I gessoed it and sanded it to bring out the polka dots. And then I made these um, two flowers, and I added um, this pearl um, center came from Lyric Lover 8110, so thank you, Amber. And then I added the lock and the key, and I added the pearls to it to kind of blend in with that. And then this flower, I actually added the... Um, some of this uh, eyelash trim just to kind of give it some, a little something something and then you can actually put a photo in here because it goes behind the bag so I only adhered the bag like on this side and down below so that a really nice photo can be tucked in and then inside the bag I have a big ticket tag for journaling and then I put another one with the bike on the front and it holds the key and then some music note paper on the back. So that's that page. And then I have another pull out photo mat. Sorry, I hope I'm going quick enough. <laughs> and then let's see, the next page says family times are the best of times and I use some of that clock ribbon that Misha from Scraps and Things One had given me. Thank you, Misha. And then I also added some of the same sheer ribbon behind it and kind of just stressed it out and tucked in a bingo tag. 
with a cloth piece in the back. And then over here, I used one of my, um, you know, those paper clips that I do with the lace, and I sewed on a button to it just to add something to it. And then I created this um, Good Times piece here. This was like a plain metal piece. And then I used my one inch circle punch and I stamped out Good Times. And then I used, I hung a little clock from one of those Tim Holtz paper clips. And then back here is just, I use this washi tape here, the letters from Tim Holtz, and I use the measuring tape one. And then you pull this out, and then this will open up this way for two more photo mats, and then two photo mats on the back. And that just clips back on there through the pocket. Um, oops, I clipped the tag in there. <laughs> And then there's another pullout. Nice big areas for like bigger photos. And let's see. Then the last pages. I just did a lot of bling um, flourishes here. It says wonderful you. Put another one of my um, yo-yo flowers here with burlap. And then this page I created this pocket from some of this. Um, it's just like a scrap piece of that this trim here this material here and I just sewed it up and then I added this uh, embellishment here and it says happy days and then inside the pocket I just tucked in two mats with this Tim Holtz hanger clip it's a bird cage on one side and then nice area for journaling on the other and then a nice sized photo mat so that's it guys, that's my um, mini album that I finally got done. It took a while because I did a lot of inking and a lot of gesso throughout the whole album. In the back I just left plain um, so it matches the front cover. But that's it, if you guys have any questions let me know and I'm, I'm just really happy I finally got it done. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching, take care, have a great day.